Hello everyone, thanks so much for stopping by. We got some more questions we're gonna answer for you today. So let's get to it. So we got this question from Cassandra. Thank you so much for the feedback, Cassandra. Uh, love the video, aw, thanks. I've been looking into a staff from Flow Toys and I'm undecided on contact staffs or regular staffs. I am new to Flow and I love a video on contact versus regular and which would be good for a beginner. So that's such a good question. Uh, what's the difference between a contact staff and just a regular staff, non-contact staff? Uh, so yeah, there's so many different things, so many different variables, uh, what the staff is made of, if that's carbon fiber or uh, aluminum, uh, what's the staff filled with, like if it has a wooden dowel, um, flowers on the end, those are like those uh, leathery tassel-y things that you see on either end of the staff that open up when the staff is spinning to help it with momentum. So here's the thing, whether that staff was specifically made for contact or not, any time that your staff is not in your hands, you're not holding your staff, if it's rolling on your arms, on your legs, on your chest, on your back, even on your head, that is considered contact, whether the staff is built for contact or not. Uh, it'll make it a lot easier if the staff is built for contact, and it'll make it a lot harder if the staff is not built for contact. That being said, um, if you start with a staff that is a non, literally specifically made for contact, kind of like this one, um, the skill that you will have by the time you get your hands on a good staff is just going to be astronomical. Like you're just going to take off. So when you're just starting out and you don't know if you want a regular staff or a contact, specifically made contact staff, it's just that price range. What price range are you looking for? Uh, to get just a regular staff, you're looking at about 100, 150 bucks for a good one. And if you want a good, really well-made contact staff, 200 bucks and up. I'm not saying you can't get a good contact staff for less than 200 bucks. Um, but usually, you know, the best, you know, the good stuff that you pay for, the more you pay for, blah, 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 the more you pay, uh, the better the quality of the product that you're going to get. That's kind of how it is in the flow arts. And, you know, you're supporting these companies and, and that's an awesome thing as well. My philosophy has always kind of been buy the best stuff because then you'll force yourself to get to that good level that you want to be at anyways. Um, instead of buying like a cheaper staff and then being like, oh, now I want it to contact, but this staff's ability to contact isn't as good as a specifically built contact staff. That being said, I started with, you know, I had a shower curtain, drilled two holes in it, put some wicks on the end, made myself a dragon staff. That's how I started dragoning, right? And now I have a three worlds carbon fiber dragon staff. Um, but that's kind of like the, the level, like I started with something that was so poor, poorly made by me. Uh, so by the time I got my hands on something like this, a good piece of hardware, I was just felt like it was just so much easier. You know, I felt like a pro. So that's kind of like the difference. That's kind of what you're gonna, that's what you kind of got to look at. Where do I want to see myself with this prop? Do I want to be doing contact stuff? Is that the goal? Do I just want to spin it really fast? Uh, do I want to do techie stuff? So these are all the questions. Let's, let's, let's answer them. All right, so let's talk about length. So I'm 5'11", and this staff is 59 inches. So it sits about two inches under my chin. That's kind of a rule of thumb. There's no really kind of rules when it comes to this flow stuff. It's whatever feels good. But I like it a little bit under my chin for contact stuff, just so it's a little bit longer. If I'm doing techie stuff and I'm doing like fast spinning, um, tosses and stuff, I use a shorter staff or with my double staffs, which are 38, but I'd go anywhere from 30 30 to about 35 or whatnot is probably a good double staff. Uh, but if you're going a full size, uh, long staff, contact staff, bow staff, whatever, I usually go a little bit like just two inches, two inches under the chin is, is pretty much good for me. So this staff, as I said, is about 59 inches, you know, sits a little bit under my chin. I could go shorter though. I could probably go to about 50 inches until I'd start getting out of my contact comfortability range. Um, so let's talk about grip tape. So you'll have two kind of main grip tapes to choose from, or you have a bunch of different grip tapes to choose from, but two of the main ones you usually get this option is a silicone grip tape, or you can get EPDM grip tape, which is what's in the middle of this staff here. So this one's more like a, a racket grip or, or something rather than a silicone-y silicone grip made pretty much just for flow. So the perks and the downfalls that the silicone has. So the perks that the silicone has is it's super sticky. Like this stuff will stick to you anywhere, anytime, no matter what you're doing, it's gonna stick. Like that is gonna stick to you unless you are in any way sweaty and or wet. In that case, it becomes utterly useless. As soon as this hits a tiny bit of, as you could probably guess, 
as you as as yeah from right there as you would guess as soon as this hits a sweaty part of your body whoop, staff goes flying into the crowd people are panicking you're running around ah! you know that sort of thing so you don't want that so i recommend for pretty much all staffs dragon staffs contact staffs uh even my double staffs e Oh, uh, EPDM grip tape. You can also get stuff like goat grip that you can buy, you know, off various websites. Uh, super, super sticky as well. A little bit too sticky in my perspective. So EPDM, is that how, is that, is that the acronym? EPDM, yes, sir. Yes, ma'am. Anyway, that is, that is the acronym. So that is the grip tape that you're going to want on your staff. So in conclusion, I would always go with just getting that better quality staff, going for the contact staff, other than just a regular cheaper staff. Because if you want to get to that skill level, and that's what you're looking for, it's going to help you get there. Like just regular, like spinning and doing weaves with just a contact staff, other than just a regular staff, you can feel the weight difference. The center point is exactly where it wants to be. Uh, no, no matter what type of wicks you have, you have monkey fists, like big old monkey fists on the end, or if you have just flat wick that's all wrapped up, kind of like this one, your more standard wick. You know, go for go for any of those choices, but I would go with EPDM grip, staff just a little bit shorter than your chin, depending on how tall you are, and flowers on the end. Flowers, just so when you get to that level where you want to start doing that contact stuff, where you're feeling it rolling down your body, those flowers, like I was saying, um... They're just like, look like pieces of cut, uh, like leather, leather, like tassels. And they fling off. I just can't find mine right now that I ought to show you, but they just like open up and then they roll with your staff, creating that much momentum, really helping you really nail those moves and all that different contact stuff that you're going to do. So yeah, hope this video helped you. If anyone else has any more questions or wants a video they want made, hit me up in the comments. As always, like, subscribe. And peace and love and have a freaking great day. Love you. Bye. Just a few extra things before we go. So I live in Vancouver, Canada. So a few places that I can find a staff local, uh, West Coast Wix, they sell contact staffs, uh, regular staffs. But if you're a US-based customer or anywhere around the world, one of the best companies and probably the best uh, contact staff that you can get right now would be from Wizards of Flow. They're Wizards of Flow Fire Contact Staff. Um, I think they're called like dragon teeth. It's like woven flat wick on the end. So they look like balls. <laughs> Uh, but these are absolutely incredibly made staffs. Uh, they're about $195. And why I said the thing about could be $250, because uh, I live in Canada, the exchange rate is not that good. So it's about $240, $250 bucks for me to get my hands on one of these staffs. But if you live in the States, you guys get it for $195. Bucks. So definitely check them out. Um, yeah. So and then going back to the question, uh, you were asking specifically about flow toys. So flow toys, I know they have their collapsible staffs and then their composite uh, contact staffs or whatnot. Um, so it's depending on what you want to do with it. Are you traveling a lot? Are you moving around a lot? You know, a long staff is obviously not going to be the easiest thing just to lug around with you. Collapsible, you know, it fits into a little bag. I find with collapsible stuff sometimes though, it's it will kind of hurt the integrity of the actual stick. Like there'll be a little position where it's bowed, especially when they're the the expanding widgets that you crank together, um, which they, you know, mostly pretty much are. Uh, sometimes it hurts the actual rolling of the staff. One side is, goes in a little wrong, you know, or the other side, you know, goes in funny or whatnot, kind of hurts the roll. So if you're staying at home or, you know, you are okay with lugging around a staff or you're just throwing it in your car and you don't really care about the size and you're okay with carrying stuff, I'd always go single piece, you know, put together, uh, composites, uh, I think that's what they call them, composite contact staffs. That's what I would probably get from Flow Toys, so yeah. And other than that, you're just gonna have to figure out length. So length also too, like go pick up, pick up a broomstick or like, I don't know, some sticks in the wood, fling them around, feel, okay, how, what is a good size for me? You know, try the chin thing, you know, that might work for you, that might not work for you. It's literally specific on you, your body type, whatever, and whatever you're looking to really get out of this thing. And of course, Flow Toys, uh, it either comes with silicone or non-silicone. There is no uh, option for EPDM or any other types of grip, although you can put it on yourself. I just went, okay, I'll get the silicone, and then if I want to replace it later, I will. Uh, but I've had my double staffs that you saw in my last video for a couple years now, and the silicone really hasn't worn out. I haven't been in too many sweaty environments, and I kind of love how they are so sticky, but the only thing you got to be careful is if, if you do get sweaty, if you're a sweaty person, I am a sweaty person, uh, if you do get sweaty they will slide and run away <laughs> so go for yeah get the silicone grip on there 
go for that composite comp compost uh, i don't know contact stat they call it composite comp compass that compass that composite contact staff i go for the contact staff so all you got to figure out is your length what you're looking for um you know grab a stick in your house grab a broomstick or something find a stick outside twirl around see where you what you think is a, is a good length for you you know try the chin rule try a little bit under the chin maybe to the chin uh depending on kind of what you want to get done once you find your com comfortability order that sucker and you'll be a pro in no time all right unbelievable so again thank you have a good day. Watch out.